for the most part, the kids of the Real Housewives franchise are okay. Or as okay as you can be when your mom is on a show that's based around being rich and yelling. But it's pretty easy to fall down a hole when you have never-ending access to money and privilege, not to mention famous parents. Here are the Real Housewife kids who aren't doing so well. Ryan Veith Tamara Judge's 30-something son Ryan Veith has been in trouble since we first met him on The Real Housewives of Orange County. His troubles escalated in 2015 when he was arrested for alleged domestic violence after reportedly fighting with his fiancée, Sarah Rodriguez. Judge downplayed the incident on Instagram, but Veith and Rodriguez have since broken up. In April 2018, Veith and Rodriguez went at it again on Veith's Instagram when he posted a photo of his wedding ring and jokingly sold it for $5, sparking a heated debate between the two. Veith's social media troubles aren't limited to spats with his ex. One month later, he made some more since-deleted comments on a post by rapper Snoop Dogg that addressed police brutality. It sounds like Judge may soon have bigger fish to fry than just arguing with her husband about whether or not to give Veith money. Alexa Curtin Lynn Curtin joined the cast of The Real Housewives of Orange County in the middle of season four and remained until the end of season five. She had her hands full from the beginning with financial difficulties and with her two teenage daughters, Raquel and Alexa. Things have gone south for Alexa, who is now in her 20s. In June 2016, she was pulled over and found to be in possession of drugs. Exactly one year later, Alexa got a DUI for allegedly driving under the influence of prescription drugs. The following month, Alexa's maternal grandmother accused her granddaughter of breaking into her house and threatening her. She was also accused of keying her boyfriend's car in February 2018. While there is certainly no excuse for Alexa's prolific criminal activity, it should be noted that in August 2017, she won a $2.25 million civil suit against Orange County after she claimed to have been sexually assaulted during an investigation. Bryson Bryant in 2010, Real Housewives of Atlanta star NeNe Leakes' son, Bryson Bryant, was arrested twice on gun and drug charges. Bryant has been arrested multiple times since, including in 2011 when he got caught stealing from Walmart. In fact, things spiraled so far out of control that by late 2014, he was sent to jail for three months in order to check into an intensive rehab program, according to Radar Online. You'd think the drama would stop there, but in 2015, the Atlanta Journal-Constitution reported that Bryant had been arrested again, this time for providing police with a false name. To make matters even worse, someone leaked photos of Bryant to Radar Online in October 2017, alleging they had partied with him and observed him doing drugs. Sounds like this young man's troubles are far from over. Josh Waring According to the Los Angeles Times, The Real Housewives of Orange County original cast member Lori Peterson left the show after two seasons to deal with the fallout from son Josh Waring's ongoing drug problem. Sadly, Waring's problems have only escalated in the years since her departure, culminating in a shocking 2016 arrest. Police say Waring shot 35-year-old Daniel Lopez in the torso after an argument, then took off in a stolen car. Waring pleaded not guilty to all 12 charges related to the incident. For the next two years, his case continued to make news as Waring piled on additional charges while in prison. As if all of that wasn't enough, Waring was also served with divorce papers in October 2017 by his estranged wife, Hannah, who cited irreconcilable differences. On the bright side, at least Lori is still married to George. Peter Rosello one so-called house kid who seems to have rebounded from trouble is Peter Rosello, the son of the Real Housewives of Miami star Alexia Echevarria. He had a tumultuous couple of years when he was arrested for allegedly assaulting a homeless man and posting a video of the incident online in 2012. Then, less than a year later, he was arrested for possession of drugs and drug paraphernalia, according to Gossip Extra. Speaking with wet paint about her son's arrest, Echevarria said that he was affected tremendously when his younger brother Frankie was involved in a car accident and left severely debilitated, which then led to Peter getting into trouble. Hopefully, Rosello can keep his nose clean and get some help coping with his brother's injuries. Victoria de Lesseps Luann DeLessip's daughter Victoria successfully horrified Aviva Drescher on The Real Housewives of New York City in 2014, when her risque art was included in Drescher's art party. By all accounts, Victoria now seems to be living a pretty typical life in New York as a budding artist and designer. However, her time in her mom's spotlight hasn't always been filled with wine and roses. Case in point, in April 2017, she was pulled over in the Hamptons for driving without her headlights on and charged with a DWI. Of course, Luann hasn't exactly set a great example for her daughter, having been arrested in December 2017 for battery on an officer, disorderly intoxication, resisting arrest with violence, and crimes against a person, according to E! News. Here's hoping both the former countess and her daughter can keep their noses clean in the future.
Thanks for watching. Click the Nikki Swift icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.